Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about a very common misconception people have about how you will feel when you've overcome your fear of driving. When I work with people online around the world to help them overcome their driving anxiety, sometimes people say things to me at the end of a session or after a session like, well I don't feel anything. And I ask them, what did you expect to feel? And they say, well, I, I thought I'd be really, like, happy. I thought I'd be jumping up and down in the air, fist pumping, saying, yeah, yeah, I can drive. And I'll say to them, well, think about this. How did you say you wanted to feel when you came to me in the first place? Well, I just wanted to be like everyone else. Exactly. You wanted to feel the way about driving that everyone else does. So do most people get up in the morning and start jumping up and down in the air saying, yeah, yeah, I'm going to drive my car and I'm really excited. No, they just get in the car and drive it and think nothing of it. And that is how you'll feel. You see, you'll feel nothing. And that's the whole point. It's not that you're going to feel something new or different. It's that you won't feel all of the negatives. So you won't be worried you won't be anxious, you won't be scared, but you're not going to feel anything the other way. You're not necessarily going to be driving down the road with a massive smile on your face thinking, yeah, I've done it, I'm so pleased. Now, it may be that that does happen to you because some people are so pleased to overcome the problem that they have this massive happy day or two when they're driving and they're loving it. But eventually, the aim is for you to just drive a car. And that's it. So people often say, it's really funny, I worked with somebody once and they came to me saying that every time they drove a car, their heart kept racing. And they said, you know, even now when I'm just sitting here talking about it, my heart's racing and it's thumping and it's so uncomfortable. We worked together for about an hour and a half. And at the end of that session, I said to them, so how does your heart feel now? And they said, oh, it's really strange. It's gone. And I said, okay, well, I want you to think about your driving, think about the situation you would normally be in, where your heart races. And they said, oh, nothing's happening. I feel absolutely fine. And the next question they asked really made me laugh. They said to me, are we making any progress? <laughs> I said to them, you do realise, don't you, that your driving anxiety has gone? And they said, what? And I said, it's gone. You do realise that's what the feeling is gone, that's what it means, the, the feeling's gone, the problem's gone. And they said, well, I don't feel any different. And I said, well, how do you feel? And they said, well, nothing. Exactly. And I just sat in silence for a few minutes while they worked it out. When you get over anxiety, it just means the anxiety will go, okay? Some people are happier instead. But it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to suddenly love driving and be really ecstatic every time you drive. Because that isn't what people do, is it? Some people do, but many don't. So when you overcome your problem, it's very common for people to not even realise it's gone. And I even have people who work with me and they go out driving for weeks and then they email me months after a session saying... It didn't work. And I say, what? You mean you're not driving? And they say, oh yeah, I've been driving everywhere, driving on the highways, fast roads, all the things I couldn't do before, but it hasn't worked. <laughs> it's so funny when people say that, because sometimes they just cannot realise that the problem has gone. I've got a friend who does stop smoking sessions, and he has people contact him six months after a session's been done, and they're saying it didn't work. So he says to them, OK, how many times have you smoked in the last six months? And they say, I haven't, but it didn't work because I just don't feel any different. <laughs> it's so funny. They did warn me of this when I trained to be a therapist. They said, you need to be careful because so many people get rid of the problem. And the thing is, it's been part of them for so long. They just can't sort of realise it's gone. It's like they can't calculate it. The brain just doesn't take it in. So when you've worked with me and your anxiety is gone, don't be surprised if you can drive a car, because that's what you wanted, right? Check out these videos on the screen now for more help with your driving anxiety, and contact me through my website firstdrive.com if you'd like to work with me one to one. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.